Martin, what's yours? What are you looking for in your natural justice? Okay. Yeah, so, um, Evans, a lot of, I mean, basically, the things that uh, Mr. Ansansari is indicated, and also one who is willing to undertake a lot of reforms because, um, you know, we have been dealt with so many problems. At least, let me mention number one the matter of service of the documents. You see, when you take a case to court, the way the documents are served, those who have to serve it are very few. So often they are overwhelmed. So you can dress up, drive a very long distance to court only to find out that your uh, opposing lawyer or the lawyer on the other side has not been served with your papers. So service, we call it processes, even though, okay, but here I'll try to use the word papers so that mm -hmm. I can make uh, a bit, uh, communicate effectively. So service of these papers is so crucial. It's such a debilitating I mean, problem in the justice system currently. So the incoming chief justice has to look at it. We have to reform and increase the numbers. If possible, we should allow the, they should license many people. Then the lawyers would pay these people directly to do the service. Because you see, now because the number of people involved are so few, we often have to entice this support that's the a, a process service. Look, let me put it blind, bluntly. You have to give them, tip them. The tip is become mandatory to the extent that, look, to be blunt, call it a bribe. If you don't pay it, your papers will not get carried out. Like, I mean, carried to the other side. It's, it's look, let me tell you, Evans, I'm lost for words. But it, is, it, it, is, it is that bad, Martin. About this particular Martin, it is that bad that Extremely. now to Extremely. actually to actually get things done in the courts, you have to pay, as you said, put it bluntly, pay bribes to court officers, as in you yeah. know, of uh, service people to to actually get your document through the process. Yes, so that they carry it. So let's say Evans, your uh, address is uh, Fanofa Street, Kukumlimli. Then let's say I'm somewhere. So when I go file the document in the court. There are officers, after they've taken it through the channels and registered it, somebody has to physically carry it to your office in Kukumlimli. And those are the process services. So you hear bailiffs. Okay. The bailiff system is no, it's, it's, it's it's broken. outdated, so much demand. And so it's such a big problem that when the chief justice comes, that's the first problem we have to tackle. Let's, uh, what do you call it, um, open up the space. Let's license, so we should license them like lawyers, license a lot of them. Then we can choose those we want to serve for us. You pay and choose the person you want to serve. So when there are many, then they would live within what is officially paid. But because there are very few, the person will be paid officially, but you still have to go and see the person and pay. Otherwise, your paper will not be served. There are so many problems, but I think if this one is solved, I mean, this will take us a very long way. Okay. And also, maybe let me mention the number two thing very dear to my heart. There are not enough divorce courts in the high court. Evans, it's also very critical. The divorce courts are not sufficient. There are three. And you know, divorce rates are going very high. So those courts are choked in the high court specifically. So we need to increase the number. So like, whereas when it comes to commercial courts, you have at least 10 of them. If you come to general jurisdiction cases, uh, you have at least uh, 13 of those courts, et cetera. Land courts also at least 10. Uh, no, not 10 even. Land courts, there are 11. Divorce courts, that's the high court. There are only three. Now, they sue disproportionate. Maybe we should have at least seven because the divorce rates have gone up. There's a huge backlog of cases. 